What's up guys? I got a pretty good tutorial for y'all today. This is going to be how to make, to layer a piano and a super saw to make a pretty cool sound uh, for like chords and stuff. Um, if you don't, if you already know how to uh, make a piano super saw sound, you might just want to watch this video anyway. And because uh, I think I go over some pretty cool tricks that not everybody uses, you know. So anyway, this is the examples. So yeah, that's the that's the sort of chords that we're gonna be making. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a new project, so I could do it from scratch for y'all. Open FL keys. That's what I use anyway. And you're gonna want a piano sound that has like a little more high frequencies. Here, how that's muffled. You're gonna want to turn up the turn up the hardness and turn up, turn up the muffle to unmuffle it. Uh, I made a preset. Uh, called EDM preset and just copy all these uh, knobs right here and you should get something like this all right make sure it's on grand piano uh, just copy all these knobs okay then you open uh, a silent or just anything that can make a super saw so and you just have a saw wave right here put the voices up to eight turn off retrig Leave the volume all the way up, everything the same, except give it a little bit of detune. Alright, take the attack off of the amp envelope, give it a little bit of uh, decay, put the sustain like right here and give it some release. Right. And that's just so it, instead of it being like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then you give it uh, some white noise, put one voice, turn off retrig, put the volume down, but uh, keep it up just enough so like it, it gives it some of that high end like uh, presence. About right there. Then you're gonna turn the EQ, keep everything the same except turn this uh, treble frequency, which is the frequency that's gonna get boosted. Turn that down a little bit. About right there. Um, you just mess with, around with that and come up with uh, some different sounds. Then you go over, there's nothing in part B, okay? Uh, yeah, nothing has voices. So. Then you go over to the mod envelope, one of them, doesn't matter, go to pitch AB, then uh, um, turn this a little bit up, keep the attack down, put the decay just like a tad up, stain all the way down, release all the way down. What that gives it is like a little bit of transient, you know, so it's like, uh, it's like going, you know what I'm saying? So then what you're going to do is you got both the sounds. Oh, you want to put a pitch envelope too. Put the rate up to 116. See in the little blue box is 116. Uh, leave the gain like a little bit, you know, like 0.3 or whatever. Go to pitch AB. And what it's going to do is instead of just holding one note, it'll go like, Wah! You know, just want a little bit, and that'll give us some movement. So then I'm gonna lay down some just a simple chord. Alright, so that's it right there. Take the piano, you route it to a mixer track. Take the super saw, route that to a mixer track. Okay, put this one in the center. Okay, uh, and then from there, 
you're going to want to put on the piano, put a, uh, where's it, Fruity P controller, okay? Unclick mute, and then uh, go right here, right click the mixer slider for the super saw, press link to controller. I know the menu isn't coming up on the recording, but you just right click the mixer slider for this, for the volume, press link to controller. And then there's going to be a menu called internal controller. You drop down the menu and then you go to um, peak control and peak LFO, right? Uh, for whatever instrument it's coming from. In this case, it's called EDM. Then you press accept. And what this is going to do is after you turn the bass volume knob to 80% because for mixer sliders, it's always going to be 80%. That's going to be the, uh, the default volume, okay? So put that to 80%, which you can see in this top window up here. Okay, it'll say 80%. Put the volume down a little bit. And what this is going to do is every time the piano plays, it's going to knock the volume of this down. And the reason we do that is because piano has a little bit better attack transient than a, just a super saw. And you can mess with this depending on what you want it to sound like. Uh, without it, it just sounds like this. And with it... And then you can uh, tinker with how far down in volume it goes, uh, how fast it comes back up. I just do it just barely, you know. You know. Uh, and then you're going to want to make a reverb bus. Make that yellow uh, and then you're gonna want to make a dry bus make that yellow goldish and see how these are uh, by default routed to the master unclick the master on both of these right now it's they're not routed to anything so you're not gonna hear anything and then click the arrows on the dry and the reverb for both of them now what this is gonna do is so right now uh, the piano and the super saw are routed to two different mixer tracks, which are going to the master. That's going to make it double loud. All right. It's not going to be good. Uh, so for the, um, dry bus and reverb bus, you have to, you want to link them to this. All right. Take it off the master. You could do that by right clicking the arrow and press route to this track only. Okay. So you got the dry and the reverb going to one. And just, I'm going to just make this red. And so now you have the piano going to the dry and the reverb, the super saw going to the dry and the reverb, and then the dry and the reverb both going to this, and that's it. It goes to the master. Make sure none of these four are going to the master, okay? Now you have the reverb. Go to the reverb bus, put the reverb on, put the dry all the way to zero, okay? So this is literally just a reverb. It's the same. It's going to be one reverb effect for two of these, okay? And uh, so now we have this. And you can control how much reverb each instrument gets by selecting the mix track for each of them. And you can um, uh, control how much of the instrument is getting sent. So like the higher uh, this knob is turned the more reverb this respective instrument is getting, okay? And then uh, what you're going to do is put another P controller on the piano, unmute it again, and then uh, link this reverb wet to, you right-click, go to link the controller, and link that to the other um, P controller and try to find the right one. Yeah, we got the right one. Um, Put the bass to however you want it. Put the volume all the way down. And what this is going to do is anytime the piano and super saw are playing, well mainly the piano, but it's, they're acting out as one sound, so it's both of them pretty much. When they're playing, there's no reverb, but as soon as they cut off, it's going to swoop back in, you know. So it's literally just a tail. That's what we want. Uh, and you do this so it preserves the attack of each instrument, so it's not all muddy and it's not reverbed all the time.
that's with the P controller. So that's a neat little trick. And uh, you can just mess with that, like the bass level of it and everything. So yeah, you can mess with that. Uh, and you can mess with different settings and stuff. This is just the default setting. Um, so okay, now you got your reverb, you got all your shit routed. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, how long we've been going for? Ten minutes already. Um. So yeah, just to recap, you have a piano sound and a super saw sound. Uh, you route them each to a dry and a reverb bus, okay? And make sure they're not going to the master. You route the dry bus and the reverb bus to the, uh, whatever, the all bus. And this is just so you can change the volume of them. So you control on the volume of the reverb and the dry, okay? So, like, you don't have to have the same effect, like EQ or whatever, on two tracks. This controls everything. And, like, you can EQ them all the same. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Uh... That's the main tricks that I think are pretty cool, like with the reverb sidechain and the uh, sidechain of the Super Saw volume. So it's pretty good. So anyway, I hope I didn't gloss over anything. Um, if you have any more questions, just uh, hit me up in the comments and uh, I will be there, bro. So peace out. Bye.